All right, well, let's, let's talk about our technology a little bit on a couple fronts. To fix a problem, you have to define it. And at Huxworks, we had the opportunity to work with an amazing chief scientist, uh, a Dr. Christopher Palmer, who took over 160 medical journals and, and findings and combined them in along with uh, a test methodology that we worked very closely with the U.S. government to build so that we could measure toxicity and off-gas from a suppressed weapon platform. And in doing that, we were able to define exposure rates and what that really looked like. We found that problem to be much, much worse than we ever thought. Um, and so, in doing so, that then led us into how do we solve for these problems? Uh, at Huxworks, we're not a suppressor company anymore. Um, we make wonderful suppression technology, but really what we are is a lab. We're a lab that solves problems and then makes products from those, pro from those problem solving technologies. Um, our patented flow through technology obviously is where it starts, but we really have come to find and put a lot of effort into iterations and optimizing that technology. Um, at this time, you know, in the last two years at Huxworks, we've iterated more uh, suppression options for more platforms, definitely, than most companies ever do in their history. And that's in a very short period of time. We use advanced technologies like modeling, um, obviously uh, uh, fluid dynamics, things of that nature, to understand uh, the thing. And you know, unlike many of our uh, competitors, those are technologies we have in-house. They're not something we go elsewhere to do. And that's where a lot of our investment goes in. Um, in doing that, we understand the product and we understand the platforms. We then combine that with the most advanced technology in manufacturing, additive manufacturing or 3D printing, as well as what most people know it as. And this has opened up for us an entire new world. Now, we realize we're not the only ones here, um, but we have led the way. And, uh, and in doing so, we've been able to improve and iterate real time on all of our technologies and, and not only improve the suppression of whatever it is the platform is, but also combine, still measure toxicity, overpressure, recoil reduction, which actually, uh, we can speak about recoil reduction for a second, leads to a bunch of other really neat things. Um, most competitive shooters understand this and most but most commercial shooters really never think about concepts like second round on target and most gunfights in the world are won with the second round on target and our suppression technologies allows for the fastest and most accurate second round on target on any weapon platform in the world and that's something that is really unique um, how do we know that well we're the only safety company that actually has a director of lethality in it. That makes us really interesting in a bunch of different ways. I can tell you as the guy that wrote the job description for the director of lethality that, uh, um, that, that uh, uh, it was pretty fascinating pulling that together, building the concept around it, but then understanding that the tools still have to do what they're supposed to do. We now have to make them safer inside of that. Um, that's where program management and sort of that background in, uh, in developing safety equipment for Special Operations Command came in because I developed systems of systems. Um, and that's something I've taken through every project and here it's very important that we look at not only the weapons platform but the human as a system, how it's employed, what its use cases are, and then we move forward from that and make tools that then improve on whatever that end state is. And that's how we will always walk into this. One of the reasons we focus uh, so much on professional users is they have the best problems. You know, at the end of the day, um, uh, you know, our, our allied and U.S. Um, conventional and special operations um, customers always bring the most unique use cases to us. And if we can solve for that, we can use that to trickle through our entire line and actually make everybody's experience better. And it's very fulfilling. Um, but we are one of the only businesses uh, that does that. In order to do that, we have to have really multiple business units inside, uh, inside of Huxworks to really focus on the right types of technologies because they're different. People's priorities for suppression change based on what it is that you do. We take those priorities and we optimize them. And uh, I believe that I, uh, 
that I'm very blessed to have the best team in the world right now as we stand today in this industry to do that. And that is going to impact the way the world sees this, the way we look at platforms, and overall, it'll impact the way weapons are designed, uh, the way accelerants, uh, gunpowders, primers, the way they're developed. And in the long run, we're gonna make for a much safer uh, soldier, sailor, airman, marine, but also federal policemen, local and state police. Uh, and we're obviously stand very heavily between the thin blue line as well. All the lines, the reds, the greens, the blues, we like them all. And, um, and, uh, and ultimately, we feel the same way about our allied partners overseas. They're uh, incredible, they have a very similar mission, and we're really excited to support it. That starts though with conversation. They have to be able to bring their problems to you, and I was taught at a very young age, you lose your leadership, you know your leadership has failed when people stop bringing you their problems. Well, we are making and developing a facility where people will bring their problems to us, because we will listen and actually try to solve them for decades to come. And that's gonna have an incredible impact on what we see is not only our professional users in the military, but also our, uh, our uh, commercial customers and their enjoyment of what hopefully is many more hundreds of years of very healthy shooting sports and home defense inside of, uh, inside of a world that is not always uh, as safe as maybe we want it to be.